What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T. And you're watching Moan T's 5-Minute Cigar Review, where I give you just that. A review of cigars in about 5 minutes. And as always, I've got a good special guest. But more on that in just a second. Before I go on, let me remind you to like and subscribe. Share this video with everybody and leave your comments. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. So, now that we got that crap out the way, the crux bull and bear that is our special guest today the crux bull and bear and it is a nice tasty cigar it's not like outstanding it's not going to win awards but it is a good solid cigar let me tell you what it has in it after i take a puff uh the wrapper is nicaraguan habano the binder is nicaraguan and the filler also nicaraguan nicaraguan puro basically with the Habano, Nicaraguan Habano, eh, but anyway, as you can see, it has got a nice color to it, nice shape, try not to blur that too much, nice rich brown color to it, good construction, no soft spots, so to speak, little bit right there, but not anything that, that would cause any concern, as I've uh, mentioned before, I like to poke and prod my cigars before and after I light them. Before to see how tight things are and after I light them once the, the heat starts to loosen things up to see if any soft spots develop in this one. Nothing really to speak of. Mm. Had to pause just to take a little puff. So let me look at my notes here. It's a good construction. Looks good. Feels good. Nice dark brown color. Um, no soft spots, like I said. Tight pack. Not so tight that it, it, it makes the draw hard, but it's got a nice, good, solid tight pack. Good draw and tight ash. I just started smoking this one here, so I don't have to tap that ash yet. But you can see that ash is tight, and it will need to be tapped. Mm. Flavor-wise, you know, before I get into the flavor, let me just mention... I don't know what the weather is like there where you are, but here in D.C., Denver, Colorado, that is, it's starting to get cold. Yesterday I was riding the motorcycle. Today uh, I'm going to have to wear a big coat when I go outside. But one thing I do love about the cold weather is coming out here to the man cave because it is perfect cigar smoking weather. If you're in town, give me a call. Give me a shout out. Maybe I'll invite you. To the man cave probably not because you're a stranger and i don't know if you're gonna come over here and try to kill me but you can always give it a shot maybe i will maybe i won't but i will meet you at a cigar spot if you're here in town dc denver colorado anyway back to the crux as i said it's a nice tasty cigar it's got a little bit of black pepper in it sort of a hint if you will of black pepper um a little bit of earthiness A smidgen of earth. No, I'm just joking. It's got a nice little earthiness to it. Um, some coffee and a little bit of grass. There's also a little bit of a... Mm, in that coffee, it's almost like a little... Maybe a little bit of espresso, maybe. Maybe maybe espresso is better than coffee. Um, with a little bit of a touch, a tad taste of, uh, of uh, uh, honey. Sorry. For a second there, I was losing my mind. A little tad taste of honey. Just so subtle, gives you just a little bit of that sweetness. Personally, I like honey in my coffee more than sugar, so it almost feels right. I kind of wish I had a cup of coffee with me, but instead, I just got water. Just a little bit of water. Anyway, uh, that way I don't mess up my palate, but I've already smoked this. I'm not worried about messing up the palate. But if you get a chance, make sure you check out the Crux. This is the Bull and Bear. Uh, I think they have some other ones. I just haven't had a chance to find them. This was a gift, so I smoked it, and it is tasty. I've enjoyed it. I'm giving this bad boy three and a quarter fingers out of five. So if you're new to the channel and you think three and a quarter is low, no. Three and a quarter is not low. It's about a little bit above average because I'm only doing it out of five fingers. Three and a quarter fingers out of five. Now, also, if you're new to the channel, I've said this many times, I am not an aficionado. 
I am an enthusiast who loves smoking and talking about cigars. So what I'm talking about may not apply to you. You may not agree with. You may not even taste what I taste, but it's just my opinion. So hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you come back and watch some more. Y'all be cool. Stay smoky. Peace out.